Peace and blessings, YouTube family. The Ripper here. It's been a minute since I've actually posted. I've been traveling. I'm now in Maryland. As many of my followers know, I was in Miami for a while promoting my business, my ebook, and things of that nature. But I end up coming to Maryland to train one of my fraternity brothers of Omega Psi Phi. He was going through some health issues, parasites in his body, just unhealthy lifestyle. So I flew out here to train with him and I end up staying because this was a beautiful market. Like a lot, I met a lot of clients when I got here and it just seemed to be a better place for me to be, especially in our community. The people I'm connecting with, they need the help. A lot of them have injuries. A lot of older people that I meet have a lot of, uh, you know, back problems, knee problems, injuries of that sort. So this was the perfect timing for me to come here. But I really wanted to do this video this evening to recap on some of my older videos on principalities, because I've been out here for about three weeks and I'm noticing lack of integrity on a lot of levels with many people. But then along with the lack of integrity, I notice depression, stress, anxiety, misery. So there has to be a tie between lack of integrity and depression or misery, because this is what a lot of people don't realize is that the energy you put out is what you get back. So if you lack integrity or you a liar or you don't speak truth or you don't stand on what you should stand on and you deviate from that to compromise for some gain or whatever reason you compromise it for, that is what leads to anxiety and grief. Because at the end of the day, whether people believe in God or not, God is not some mystery. God lives in us and he holds us accountable for our behavior. And really, God communicates through your conscious and subconscious. So in your conscious mind, if you feel as though you're not happy or you're not fulfilled or you don't have purpose, that's because God has not blessed you with that because you're living in deviation. And ultimately, that will affect your health, too. The more you deviate mentally, spiritually, it will affect your health, too. And you'll start to notice different problems, especially as you get older. But really, when by living righteous and not and having integrity, and mastering self-righteousness and truth and the, and the the higher God of self, that is how you become abundant, have peace, joy, happiness. Righteous men and women do not wake up grievous. They wake up with purpose. They wake up with electricity. They wake up motivated. Um, and I, I just wanted to put that out there because even when I was in Miami, the different cities I've been in, Houston, Chicago, I see that same energy. It's like in each city, it's the same thing, but a different flavor. It's like the culture is different, but it's the same root problem in every city. And I'm realizing that it's because of deviation. So what our people really need is a cure of deviation. The, devi the deviation is when you, when you don't live how you're supposed to, when you don't live according to the law of the universe of life, because there's a law of death and a law of life. If you live this way, you, you live death. If you live this way, you live life. That is a law that we have to live. And as an intelligent human being, God gives us the right to choose. He doesn't dictate to us how we should live. We just live how we choose. So um, I've been noticing that here, too, just with the uh, the amount of uh, stress that I see and anxiety on the people. But I also notice that they don't be real with themselves. They don't hold themselves accountable. There's a lack of responsibility on people's side. And that leads to greater stress. So stress kills. Anxiety kills. These different um, emotions that you feel that the brain produce from the knowledge is here. Knowledge is in your mind. Your brain conceives your reality. So when you put when you think negative, those negative thoughts affect your body. When you think positive, those positive thoughts affect your body. So. When you think in negative and think in positive, as an intelligent human being, you should say, OK, you can either experiment with either one to determine which will be you will be most successful with. But from what I see, and especially in America, in American culture, because I connect with people all over the world. But from what I see specifically in America, the people are suffering from deviation, compromise, wickedness. So obviously there is some tie between wicked lifestyle and death. Then you're not you're not living. You're not in a abundant state of of abundance and uh and, and life and, and joy and gratefulness and gratitude. So at some point you're going to get removed because that energy does not have permanence in this universe. 
God will be merciful with us. But that energy that we have, the energy that we portray, it has no permanence in this universe. So ultimately we will be removed and or destroy. So um, God does not look at death how we look at it. If God cannot use you in his way for his divine purpose in this life, in this universe during this time, then you won't have any permanence. Satan has a job to do and that his job is to trick you into thinking you're successful, trick you into thinking you're on the right path. But if you have any intelligence, if you pay attention to your conscious mind and your state of mind, then you will know something is wrong if I'm constantly under grief and anxiety and misfortune. Therefore, something I need to change. So if you're not changing that, you're your own worst enemy. And I tell our people this all the time, so with my clients, those that I work with, you're your own worst enemy. Nobody can make you do anything. Nobody can make you deviate. Nobody can make you put the wrong things in your body, the wrong foods, the wrong liquids. You choose that, but your choice is based on your level of knowledge. So what we need is knowledge. We need knowledge to resurrect and reform our people because we have the wrong perception. These ideologies that we have, we have to get rid of. And each individual person I would like to talk to just to see what their ideology is and where they are in life. Because if your ideology is not granting you greater success and abundance and peace, then you need to throw that ideology away. And much of what we've been taught traditionally, we need to throw away anyway. And now the truth is coming out. That's what you see. The truth is coming out and it's crushing people. People are breaking under the, the pressures of truth. But truth is supposed to empower you. It's not supposed to break you. Truth is supposed to give you life, not kill you. So if truth is killing you, then you are one of a devil or a wicked person. Because you live a lie and you promote lies and wickedness. So that's, that's a sad state. You are a miserable human being to live that way. And a mature, spiritually mature adult lives righteous, lives upright. When they speak, they mean what they say. They follow up and they do what they say. So if you're not living like that, then you need to look at yourself and look closely. Because we don't have a lot of time. And as you can see, people are being laid down left and right. A lot of death going on out here. A lot of misfortunes. And it's the chastisement of God. That's what the time we're living in. If you're familiar with prophecy, any of you who are familiar with prophecy, regardless of your religion, prophecy is not religious. Prophecy is scientific. That is a time frame of the universe. It's in an elevation or evolution. So the time of prophecy that we're in right now is that the wicked will be chastised. Anyone who puts out negative energy, anyone who does not live according to those righteous principles that the prophets foretold that would save you and protect you and keep you safeguarded from death. Then you're under, you're under chastisement and misfortune and you'll, con you'll continue to experience loss. So I want to continue to connect with our people and, and speak on a, on a level of um, understanding and not speak judgmental or speak out of a, a sense that um, I don't see any hope in our community or our people in general. But at the end of the day, we have to be accountable. We got to take responsibility. And until we begin that path of responsibility and accountability, we won't be successful. You know, and I, I have wealthy clients. I have clients with money. I have people around me with money and they, they need something else with that because ultimately you can become even more miserable with money if you're comfortable and you stop, if you don't live in your purpose and you lose challenges and you lose the ability to master and self-mastery you get comfortable that is horrible you can easily become miserable and depressed when you stop challenging yourself or stop living in your purpose all of us especially as black men should have a service whether it be whatever it is fitness nutrition whether it's architecture whether it's engineering whether it's building we have to have a service provided for our people this is what's going to keep us protected by God and keep us blessed. You don't have to just be looking for money for your business. Obviously, you're going to make money. God is going to bless you with money. You're going to demand what you demand for your service. But in your heart, it should be to serve your people and to help us grow and build. That is how God is looking at it. Not the fact that you fall into the temptations of the Federal Reserve, which is an organization created in 1913 to create a fake paradise for yourself. No, no, sir. No, ma'am. That's not what it is. You can use that to help you build as a tool. But at the end of the day, real wealth is service. Real wealth is your ability to sacrifice 
what you what you think may be gain to see your people come up. That's the time we living in and we cannot keep passing it down from generation to generation and it never gets done. At some point, we have to take up the responsibility and say, OK, I'm going to provide the service. I'm going to do this. I'm going to contribute to my community. I'm going to contribute to my people. I don't necessarily I'm not looking for nothing to gain. I'm going to gain just from my love and my heart for my people. I'm going to naturally gain because the people are going to see that you're genuine and you love them and they're going to want to help you. They're going to want to support you. So we need to rethink the way we think and redirect our ideologies about everything because it's causing us greater and greater misery, depression, anxiety and misfortune. So let's follow up, family. YouTube, it's always a pleasure and a blessing. Also, you'll see in the description below, Seven Simple Secrets to Doubling Muscle Gains, the ebook, where I discuss not just working out, but how to properly structure your workouts. Even if you're a professional athlete, if you're a beginner, each level, there's a certain way to prevent injury. There's a certain level to keep your body strong through the fiber cell therapy and through facing the wall. So let's talk more. And um, it's always a pleasure. I didn't mean to be disrespectful to anybody. I'm very passionate because I love our people. I love our community. I want to see us rise. I'm in the God class. I'm amongst the God class of our community in a sense that I'm willing to sacrifice pleasure. I'm willing to sacrifice deviation. I'm willing to give up all. I don't want no parts of that because I see how the people are affected by that. It's killing them. So I want to live. I want life. I want abundance. I want peace. I want to wake up with joy happiness. I want to wake up with purpose every day, not under misery and constant chastisement. That's no way to live. You know, life is about living and evolving and growing in a positive way, you know, and continue to put positive energy out there, regardless of what trials God may be putting us through. Always stay positive, even when you're going through your trials, because that's what's going to determine your outcome as well. So stay strong, YouTube family, peace and blessings.